Hi, it's Tessa, and it's time for September favorites. I don't, I have kind of a random mix of favorites this month. Nothing really, um, I don't know. September was a slow month. I think it's a transition month, and um, I haven't painted my nails, not once, this whole month, because I'm trying to get them back to some kind of state of decency, because I broke them all. I think with my anxiety that I've had problems with, and just, I don't know, they got soft, and I, I don't know, they just did not have a good month. My nails were not good this month. That is a monthly fail, my nails. Fail, total fail. Okay, what do I want to start with? I'll start with the only fight food item I have, and this is the Pamela's Chunky Chocolate Chip Gluten and Dairy Free Cookies. They're my favorite. I wouldn't recommend buying them because you'll eat them all. <laughs> That's the downside of them. They're so good, you'll just eat them all. They're delicious. So, yeah. You can buy them at Vitacost if your grocery store that you have locally does not carry them. Vitacost.com. Pamela's. Okay, hair. I have one hair item. It's the Ion Color Solutions Color Treated Paraben Free Color Defense Leave-In Protector. This stuff is awesome, and it smells so good. Love this. And I got it free because my um, beauty card was up, and I had to renew, so I got a free Ion product, and I chose this, and I'm glad I chose it because it's awesome. Next is the Below the Chin Good For You Body Care Body Spray in Vanilla Cream with Moroccan Oil. This smells so good. Now... You know I don't have that great of a sense of smell, and I have good days and bad days. So I'm not sure how long this lasts, because I can smell it when I first put it on, but I don't know if it's just me that can't smell it the rest of the day, or if it actually loses its scent quickly. So, But I still love it, because it smells really good when I spray it on. And you can always layer. If you feel like you might be losing the scent a little bit, you can layer that with another vanilla-y type scent. Then... Another random thing that I have are the new Yankee Candle Car Jar um, Air Fresheners. There's some limited edition ones out right now, and they all smell so good. They're for fall. I have Autumn Wreath, which I'm going to put in my car, like, ASAP. And these have scratch and sniff little things on them. Oh, oh that one's going to my car today. I also bought Spiced Pumpkin and Apple Pumpkin. So I thought these would be good from now until December. A new one each month so well I can tweak out the last one the apple I think the apple pumpkin can go Christmassy too because it's kind of red they're so good and I saw some two Christmas ones already out but I was like eee, not yet not ready for that yet then I have this little gadget hot shot tools I got from Sally's Beauty Supply and it's my deep waver and it looks like this. This is like freaking awesome. I'm so glad I bought this. Here's the name. It is an amazing hair product. I think it was about $50 and it was worth every single penny that I spent on it. So I need to do like a hair tutorial using this because the first one I tried to film was an epic fail. And I also need to go get my hair recolored because it's like not purple anymore. It's like burgundy now so it keeps fading and fading and I'm only washing it every other day and I'm using sulfate free shampoo but I guess it was just that I was blonde before and it doesn't want to take now so I need to get this redone soon okay makeup nope one more body care product and then makeup I have the witch please no good deed whipped cream body butter and this is from fortune cookie soap I got it in my soap box this smells like fall it smells like hazelnut and pumpkin and spice <sighs> look that sample is almost gone and I want to order this in the full size because when you get the soap box from fortune cookie soap you get a ten dollar coupon so i want to get the no good deed body butter body spray and perfume but the body spray is not in stock yet so i can't order it until it comes in stock then i can get the whole set with my ten dollar coupon 
All right. This month I dug out my Naked palette by Urban Decay, the original, and I've been using this baby like a mad woman. I don't know. Look at this. <laughs> um, Sin is almost gone. Virgin is almost gone. And Toasted is almost gone. I've hit pan on all three of those. So, yes, well-loved palette. Um, probably my favorite Naked palette. I like the second one, too, but the first one is hands down my favorite. I like the packaging the best on this palette, and I know a lot of people like the tinny packaging. This is easy, and the, the tin ones are so hard to open and close, and this is just easy and travel-friendly and my favorite. So, love my Naked palette. Then, my Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. Hands down, best mascara I've ever used. And I think this might have been in my last monthly favorites, but regardless, it is still a favorite. So it has to reappear in this month because I'm still loving it. This is about done. And then I can break this bad boy open, but I haven't yet. Next, I've been loving or re-loving the Revlon Colorstay Whipped Foundation. Mine is in 220 Nude. Um, I just bought a new one because I used up my last one. You'll see that in an empty soon. Love this foundation. Stays all day. Doesn't have any parabens. It's a fave. Then for blush. The blush I'm wearing today is the Insta Stain. I've never featured this, I don't think, in a favorite because this is the tool color. And I usually... This is a, a more red color. And I usually use the lighter one called Argyle and I'll show you the difference. I mean, there's definitely a difference. This is the Argyle and this is the one I've been wearing so you can see huge huge difference and the one I've been wearing is definitely um, redder. Redder? Something. I don't know. But I apply it with this brush as you can see the top of it's all Red, I just pounce it in and lightly brush it on my cheeks like this because it's a very, very powerful color and it goes a very, very long way. Then my Tarte um, Amazonian Clay Pressed Mineral Powder in the purple package, which totally have hit pan on, but I love it. So there's that. And my Maybelline Define a Brow Medium Brow medium brown brow pencil. It's this one here. I've never tried this before and when I got my hair color darker I needed a darker pencil because I was using my Wet n Wild color one in taupe which looks like that but then since I got my hair colored I like this one but it's really hard to turn. I don't like that about it. So there's the one I was using right here and this is my new one on this side. So you can see there's a, a, a huge difference. This has a little comb thing on the end, but I don't use it. I just use a spoolie. Um, so I love that, and it's a good color. And the last two things, the one is the NARS Translucent Loose Powder. I've been using it with the e.l.f. blush brush, which I don't think this would be a good blush brush, but whatever, some people might like it. And I just put the lightest amount this works really good. On the side of the brush, I just tap the stuff in here, tap that off, and then I run it once under each eye like this to set my setting powder, and then I'll just take it and just brush it around my face. This is awesome. I haven't tried flash photography, but I'm thinking that this may be a white cast type product. Last but certainly not least is the Milani. Um, I think this is the color statement or color something lipstick. It looks like this in the gold packaging. This is in 25 Naturally Chic. And I have it on my lips. Kissy! <laughs> it looks like this. And it's just that, I don't know, orangey brown nudie fall color. It's super nice. That is everything I have for my September favorites. Thanks for watching, and I will see you again in my next video, which I'm thinking might be an empties. All right, see you later. Bye-bye.